Hello vloggers. So today's Sunday. It's the day of rest and house cleaning. Is that the same thing? I don't know. Um, so far it's great. Serenity's been with her friends at the neighbors. And so Devacito and I have had some delightful time together. Where um well we've been cleaning the house together, which is my my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Not really, but I, I don't mind at all. So um, he also mowed today, so I'm going to show this funny thing of um, Dovisito and, and more. It's more of serenity, so I'll show you. Here's the dog. So Serenity does this um, stuff all over. Like, these are broken shells with rocks. Here's more over here. It's just a bunch of rocks. There's a stick and rocks. And she'll sit there and she'll do something. I have no idea what she's doing, but she really enjoys it. There's this part of me that's super clean, and so it drives me crazy, but I just let her do it. So this is the funniest one. Davisito was mowing, and he yelled for me to come. He's like, Mother, what is this? Like, this is just like in our yard. She dug a hole and put uh, wood around it. She was Initially, it was for the turtles. But apparently, I don't think it is anymore, because now there's a ton of rocks in there and sticks on the top. So I have no idea. So I appreciate her creativity, but the other part of me, um, well, I just like things clean and neat. And so it drives me crazy a little bit, a little bit. But I've just left it there because I think like her creativity and whatever's going on there, it's more important than my need for things to be in order. Um, I appreciate her brilliance and creativity. I often find like dishes in the kitchen out of place and used and so it's her doing something but i have no idea what we're gonna go recycle all our stuff and grocery shop and i get to hang out with my big boy man i miss that kid so i'm happy i'm so happy right now to get to hang out with davisito give me a bunch of kisses so we um dump these dog food bags it's like what 30 five pounds of bag of dog food in recycling we have we haven't gone in a while we are dumping eight i think eight bags is that all of them baby yeah eight bags eight bags of recycling that is us not doing on a regular basis we should come more often so I want to thank 6th Street Marion, this trash place. I don't know what it's called, Recycle Works, for um, having these bins out here so that we can come in and recycle for those who live in the county. Yay. So today one of my subscribers asked me to talk about um, like childhood abuse, like trauma, and how that impacts us as a kid. Um, I mean, that's, that's, that's a pretty complicated subject matter, of course. Um, I think some some people it probably destroys it destroys them in adulthood. It destroys their adulthood. Others um, they're able to find resiliency and heal, and it becomes like strength and power in their life. I would say, um, just I can always speak personally. I um, I experienced a lot of like physical and emotional abuse as a child and and with that um, what was even worse was that like adult I, I asked for help like I asked adults for help I remember several occasions at school in public where adults saw stuff and no one ever helped me and so um, like I mean, two things is like that deeper like neurological connections like that got cemented in my head is that I don't matter. Like if I get to be beat as a four year old or a six year old or a two year old and no one stands up, then I don't actually matter. And so that's something like even as an adult that's competent and confident and overall pretty stable, like every once in a while that, sh that shit just sneaks out and it like, I realize like I'm functioning from that space and I have to like reboot and do better. But, um, the other thing that's really beautiful that came from that is that when I see, see people of any age that, that are getting treated like shit, like I don't stand down. I'm not going to ignore it because we do all matter. And so that's one of the ways that I've become resilient 
from the abuse and neglect of the abuse that I tolerated as a kid or like lived through. Um, it's, I, like one part of me thinks about the idea that like, no, there's no reason any, we should ever want to hurt a child, like physically, emotionally, sexually, like how do you look into the innocence of a child and ever hurt them? And then the other thought, though, is that as adults, we don't know what we're doing. Like, there's no lessons in parenting. We have all of our own adult problems going on. And if we were never taught how to cope with adult problems, how can we possibly cope with them and raise kids well? And so, um, it's not okay to abuse children at all, ever. And I think people are complicated. And so we have to be taught and have opportunities to learn how to do better. Um, I think sexual abuse, like no matter what, you've got to know that's wrong. I've taught my my kids because in my office, uh, people that report to parole that are um, they're convicted of some sort of sexual offense, which might be with children, it might be with adults. I, we, I don't know. I don't know who's convicted with what. And everyone that comes in on one day a week isn't that. That's not their conviction. So I don't. I have no idea my kids come in and so on that day of the week I've told them that that the the abuse to children is like an addiction and that even if they know it's wrong there's something inside them where they don't control it and there's treatment to help them but we don't know who or what or how and what triggers them and so not only do we not want the kids to be victims but we also don't want to put the people in vulnerable situations and so there's like safety rules like they stay in my office the door stays closed and such but it's not demonizing the individuals, it's demonizing the behavior, which is easy to say when it's at a distance. Because then when a child, you look into the eyes of a child you love, and you know someone like sexually hurt that innocent child, like the amount of disgust and rage and anger and hatred that comes from us, that's real. And it's deserved, maybe. Um, so... Um, I don't know. Comment down below if you have questions, you want to share your story, you have more um, specific dynamics you want to talk about. Something I said didn't quite make sense, I didn't explain myself well, let me know.